Hi there, this is Matt Allington and today I'm going to do a little bit more complicated Power Query example. I'm going to use Power BI Desktop and the objective is I want to be able to combine multiple sheets from multiple workbooks. Now you're probably aware that there are some file combine features as part of Power Query that will automatically combine um, a single sheet from many workbooks but I'm going to add both of these layers so that you can see how to do that. So here's the process I'm going to follow. I'm going to extract all the valid sheets from one workbook and then turn that into a function. And then I'm going to pick a single sheet and transform that the way I need it and turn that into a function. So then I'll have two separate functions. And then once I have those functions, then I can extract a list of all the workbooks that I need to process. I'll call the first function to extract the list of sheets and then I'll call the second function to process all the sheets and combine all the data. Okay, so I have three sheets here. Now this is some sample data which I made up using AdventureWorks. I have three workbooks, each with different years. And you can see I've got multiple sheets. Notice that I've got some sheets here that don't need to be loaded. So this particular workbook has a full year worth of data. And if I jump over to this one, you can see that I don't have a full year worth of data. I do have some of these extra sheets though. So the functions that I write need to be generic to be able to handle these differences. Okay, so let's get started. Now my objective is always to use the minimum amount of code possible. And we'll see how we go. So I'm going to get data from Excel. So the first thing I'm going to do is create this function to produce a list of sheets. So there is my sample file that I use, 2017. Now I've actually hard coded this at this point in time. To extract a list of sheets, I don't want to select them individually because that will select them by name. Instead, I right click and go transform data. And this has now given me a list of sheets. I need to filter these, so I don't want anything that begins with the word sheet. Of course, this won't solve every issue that potentially will occur with extra sheets, but um, I'll leave it at that for this example. So this is the list of valid sheets in this particular workbook. Now before I turn it into a function, what I do need to do is create some parameters. I do have my formula bar visible here and you can turn that on here. I always like to have that on so I can see the code. And also um, I suggest you turn on this uh, option here, always allow parameters. I think I learned that from Gil Raviv, maybe one of his blogs. And so I'm going to turn that on because that will help me in the process of making the parameters. If I go back to this source step, you'll see that I've hard coded the file here. And so I'm going to copy that from here. And I'm going to click on the cog. And I'm going to create a parameter. So my new parameter, I actually need two parts. I need the path and the file name. So I'll create the path first. And I'll paste this and I'll just remove the file name from the end. And I'll click OK. So I now have a parameter that gives me the path. Now I'll turn this into an advanced query. And I need the path back here again. And this time I'll create another new parameter. And this one will be the file name. And I'll just paste the file name that I cut before. And now you can see that this advanced query basically concatenates those two together in order to connect to this file. All right, now let me go back here. So I filtered the row, so that's all looking good. And this is now a parameterized query. Now that it's got parameters, I can turn it into a function by right click and create function. And this will be function all sheet names. Okay, so now I've got my function that I can pass a path and 
a file name and it will give me a list of all sheet names. In fact, I want to go back. I probably don't need all of this information. All I really need is the name of the sheet at this point in time. So I'm going to remove the other columns and I'll call this sheet name. Okay, so now I have a function that will extract all the sheet names of any file that I pass in a particular path. All right, now the second function I'm going to create is a function that will process a single sheet. Just I need to teach it how to process just one of those sheets. Now, because I've got this query already parameterized, in fact, I'm going to rename this just for convenience. This will be called my single workbook because that's now a parameterized query. And I'm going to duplicate that so that I've got a second copy. It's already got all the parameters included in it. And now I'm going to modify this a bit. So I'll delete these last couple of steps, delete that. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to extract the first sheet that we come to. Okay, so to process a single sheet, I'm just going to click here on table and Power Query automatically adds a few steps here. So we, that was where we started. It's identified the first sheet as being December and the kind as being a sheet. So basically what it's picked up is item is December, kind is sheet. And so this is the sheet that's being processed. Now I want this to be generic. So really in a moment I'm going to pass a list of all the sheets to this function. And so I need this here to be a parameter. I don't have the option of selecting the cog here, so I'm just going to create a new parameter. And this will be my sheet name. And I'll give it the current value DEC. And so now I have a new parameter. I'll just move that up here with the other ones. Now we'll come back here and I'm going to manually edit this code and replace the word December with the parameter called sheet name. And at this point it still works. So I might just rename this step because it's not always going to be December now. This is going to be selected sheet and then this promoted header is wrong and change type is wrong. So what I'll just, just delete those two steps remove top rows and two. So basically I'm just tidying up this query now so that it correctly processes a single sheet. All right, so that's my query to process a single sheet. All I have to do is pass a parameter. So this is processing December. If I came back and changed the parameter to something else, it would process a different sheet name. I'll call this um, single sheet. And now I'm going to turn it into a function. So now I have two functions. Here is the first function. It takes a path and a file name and it will extract all the sheet names. And then here's the second function where I can pass the path, the sheet name and the file name and it will extract all the sheets from all the files. Okay, so before I move on, I'll just come back to the master plan. So I've created the two functions, one to extract the list of sheets, a second to process a single sheet now that I have those two functions, I need to get a list of all the workbooks that need to be processed, then extract all the sheet names, then process all the sheets. So I'm going to go and get a list of all the workbooks. So this time I'm going to go new source and I need to point to the folder. And I prefer just to copy the path from Windows Explorer, paste it in and so now this is the folder I want to process, but I'm not going to click this. I'm going to go transform data. And here is the file names and here are the path names. And so they're the only columns I need. I'm going to remove everything else. So I've now got my path and my file. And because I've got those two, I can use this function to extract all the sheet names from those two files. So let's call this, uh, I'll call this sales because ultimately this is going to have everything that we need. 
So now I'm going to add a column, invoke a custom function, and the function is all sheet names. I need to pass the path, which is folder path, and the file name, which is the name. This gives me three tables, and when I hit the expand, this now gives me all the sheet names that are valid in each of the files. Notice how 2019 doesn't have a complete list. So this now is a list of everything that I need to process the second function, which is this one here, function process sheets. So I'll invoke another function, and this will be process sheets. This one needs to know the sheet name. And we'll click OK. Once again, it gives, or more correctly, um, a list of tables. And then when I click this process sheets, it will go ahead and process every single sheet in every single workbook in the folder. In this case, I'm going to remove these. You may want to use them in your case if you need to extract the year or the month name. In this case, it's just sample data. So I will remove those columns and always, always come in and set the data types before you go ahead and load the data. And so that's it. I can just go File, Close and Apply, and that will go ahead and process all of the valid sheets in all of those files in that folder. Okay, so I hope you found this useful. If you like my video, um, have a look at my online Power Query training. I have lots of tips and tricks to help you get the most from this fabulous tool.